All right, so more Portrait of Ruin time. Uh, I think I might even be doing this earlier than the last uh, session, I think. I mean, I don't remember what time I did it at last time, but it's uh, still daytime out right now. As you can see from outside, it's uh, pretty bright out. I had to close my blinds a little bit because it's actually really freaking bright. But hey, that's a good thing, I'd say. Uh, actually, I should probably charge my phone. It's only at 28%. Yeah, I'll just do that real quick. Yep, alright, perfect. I, I mean, I can't stop thinking about this game. This game is just addicting, man. It's fun, and, you know, your typical Metroidvania, and it's still really funny. <laughs> I have the freaking Smug Pac-Man as my emblem. They never do anything with those emblems. They, they just let you draw it, and then it's like, ha, you know what, here you go. One thing I was going to talk about, though, was how, um, was how, um, this game doesn't really use the DS touchscreen as much as I thought it would. Like, at least compared to Dawn of Sorrow, it barely uses the touchscreen at all, actually. So, yeah. Anyways, what was I going to do this episode? I don't remember. I think I was supposed to go with the clock tower or whatever. Cause I know I know we beat. Also, this is not the right thing. <laughs> this is not this is not the teleporter. The teleporter is up here, you jackass. <laughs> well, hey, uh, something I could definitely do at least when I'm want, done with this series is I can watch Gnarly's challenge run on this vi on this game. That's fun, at least. Um, I would go get that that money, but like, someone did point out that money is pretty much useless in this game after a certain point. I'm definitely noticing that. Like, I'm noticing like, huh, what's the point of all this money that I have now? I can't even use it. So, yeah. Um, I think this is where I want to go, right? So this is where we fought death last time. This is new. Ooh, they got an elevator and everything. Boost intelligence temporarily. Well, hang on. My question is, what's the point of increasing your intelligence if you can't switch to a different spell? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, it's nice to have, I guess. Oh. Oh yeah, can't you like... Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to go all the way down here. I think we'll be able to go up there later or something. Oh, we get rid of this fire now. The fire still hurts though, it don't, it don't touch it. So now we got a shortcut, that's pretty dope. Okay, so that's a new area. But oh, what else am I missing? I don't know what that is. I kind of want that, though. Okay, here we go. Now I can check out what's at the top of this. We got Combat Beret. Oh, finally, finally a good he head uh, accessory for her. Look at that. I mean, yeah, it does increase her, decrease her intelligence a little bit, but I don't know, that, seems, that seems outweighed, I think. Um, I can't seem to get on the other side. This elevator is going crazy. Open veil. Um, this one increases my intelligence slightly more. To get two uh, 
pet accessories. Hmm. From what it looks like, I can't go in, um... This elevator is really weird. <laughs> like, you have to go in at, at specific... Actually, wait, hang on, I can just do this. <laughs> there, now we can go over here. This also takes me to a separate area. Master's Keep. I mean, sure, I'll go here then. Oh, the cows are back, dude. All right, you're immune to you're immune to ice. I don't have a lot of anti venom actually. Oh no, get off! Get off! <laughs> don't get off me! I'm almost dead already. How the fuck did this happen? Freaking! Frick oh, these are succubuses. Well, they're basically the same as the Lilith enemies. Okay, nice. We got a teleporter now. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh, look, I got my... Wait, that's my HP up. <clears throat> they look so similar to the HP or the high potions. I got saved now, nice. Anyways, I finished uh, watching Sailor Moon last night. Uh, Sailor Moon R, that is. <laughs> and uh, it was really damn good. Like, uh, man, that, that was a, uh, the finale was really good. I can't really, I don't really want to spoil anything, but just know that it was, it was really good. <laughs> And, uh, honestly, it might be even better than the this this first season finale. Ooh. Where does this take me? So lonely. So lonely. <laughs> He's using the, uh... Ooh, Europa's dress. Oh, I got a second one. Let's go. What are, what are the odds of that actually dropping? Here, I'll make a save, just in case. I got a third one! Are those any good? <laughs> if they keep dropping? Holy shit! That's amazing! Look at those stats! Okay, so that's where that leads. Oh, look how lame the... Look how lame the backward slide is. <laughs> I mean, the most I could do is try and save up for the mastery ring at this point. That's about the only good thing. Besides that, nothing really interesting happening here. Also, I love these bats carrying swords. That is amazing. Um, I guess I never came over here. Oh, wait, hang on. Now that we're here, we can go get those. We can go get that moon. I think this is where the money is. If I remember correctly. Yep, here it is. Okay, I gotta. Now I gotta put on the toad morph. That's not the toad morph. There we go. 4,000 bucks. I mean, Dark... Dark, uh... Dark Rift and the Light Attack is pretty damn good. I used that against Dracula. Not Dracula, uh, Death. <laughs> Why'd I say Dracula? Reminds me of frickin' Richter's sleeping noise in Smash Ultimate, where he's like, Mmm, Dracula. <laughs> And you get and it gets cut off, so he just says, mmm, Drac. 
<laughs> I don't know why I remember that. It, and I don't know why I think that's so funny. Bats. Razor bat. I'm almost dead. Time to go back for more potions. Alright, let's get back. So I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I went up first now, because now um, I have a shortcut. So I made a wise decision. <laughs> yeah, take that. Alright, let's go up here. We got some bats. I how tanky those guys are. Frickin' bat, bro. <laughs> but that's right, I'm gonna end up using all my potions. Let me just do that real quick. Oh, yeah. You see how freaking good that, that skill is still? It's still amazing. <laughs> What's with the skeletons in the background, huh? No, no secrets? Anyways, at the time of streaming, um, we are exactly two weeks away from, uh, Mario Party Jamboree coming up. And I am pretty excited for that. We're gonna try and get like one more uh, Mario Party 5 session in before that uh, before that comes out. <laughs> Spin Devil, that's a great enemy. I mean, there's a lot of great enemies in this game. So that, so that goes up there. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my options. Um, I'll go up first, I guess. Oh, don't, don't kiss, don't kiss my partner. Don't do that. Spin devil. Ooh, look at that, look at that enemy. The ruler sword. This enemy, uh, this enemy is not messing around. How the fuck do I even approach an enemy like this? <laughs> do I have to kill all the shields? Got him. Well, he just kind of sit, sit, stays there. I notice like some of the enemies, once you kill them, they kind of just piss off for good. <laughs> I'm really trying. To, I'm really trying to go places. Lame demon. Yeah, he stands no chance against that. I remember those enemies from Dawn of Sorrow. I remember them pretty well, actually. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe this will wrap back around. Yeah, here you, Wyvern. Die, Wyvern. You don't belong in this world. Oh. More flame demons. Got he. Okay, we've wrapped around again. <laughs> I just wanted to check everything that was there. 
Bro, I'm almost out of potions already. This is not good. At least they're saying not. At least they're not saying filthy cow this time. I mean, they're not. They're not going on about cows. I, mean, I like milk as much as the next guy, but I don't go. Oh god, this guy's back. Yeah, I'm not messing with that enemy. So he does come back then. It's pretty bad news. Oh, we got piercing beam. Fire a concentrated beam of powerful light. Let's try it. Ooh. Damn, that's good. Maybe we should go back to the warp. <laughs> oh, he gone. Yeah, I probably should go back. I ran out of potions already. Unless there's a... Unless there's a save somewhere nearby. Or I can just walk straight first into a Crusader. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pussying out already, guys. I guess, um, my money will have a use after all. I can't even afford that many high potions. Hmm. Alright, well, what are we getting rid of? Oh, we don't need Long Spear. We don't need the Emerald Corset anymore. I have two of these, so I can sell them. Mm hmm. Don't need the Bandana anymore. Don't need the Morning Veil. Or the Open Veil. I think that's good. Alright, here, we'll, buy, we'll stock up on high potions. Mm hmm. Here, and I'll save too. I think if you scare him enough, he runs away. I think that's what happened last time. Yep, we're not gonna get any of these fucking done now at this point. Ugh. Hmm. Alright. Come back on the last three digits of your moon knee, or 777. Why, am I, why would I be keeping track of that? Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I can tell you right now, I'm not 100%ing this game. <laughs> At least I'm not 100% the quest, because I kind of consider those to be like a whole different thing. Alright, so we can go over here. The final guard. I don't even know how much damage I'm doing this thing. It says he's guarding against it. Well, obviously that doesn't do anything. What if we try, um... If we try Tempest. One damage! Wow, fantastic. Okay, what all Thunderbolt? Uh, that did damage to me. I'm out of MP again. I'm just trying out random shit. Um... Dark Rift, maybe.
Oh, he's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna walk towards it now, though, is he? He's walking away from it. Damn it! Ow! That still only does one damage. Maybe every attack is guaranteed to do one. Mmm. Probably why Dark Rift would be nice to have. <laughs> Rip. Okay, he's walking forward again. Let's put it back on. Yeah, well, keep walk, walk forward. Walk forward into it. No, don't walk back. Get back here. Oh, he gone. Defensive form. I think that's. Isn't that for, jo isn't that for Jonathan? Yeah. Well, we also have Stonewall, which is another defensive stance, apparently. <laughs> I could just do offensive form. Or taunt. <laughs> There's some interesting options there. Hmm. That might not be bad, honestly. At least at least I was guaranteed um, a good like thing from that. Let me try out the piercing beam again. Looks like I've looped back around here now. So now we need to go back this way. Thing is, the beam goes straight forward, so you have to be a bit more precise with it. Oh hell no, nah. hell no! Nah. I ain't dealing with this. Nope. Alright, we're back here again. Looks like there's only one way to go after all. Alright, nice. Another save. Oh, there's a lot of, like, empty space on this map, which kind of bugs me. Oh, there's the boss. Okay, well, what's up here, then? Oh. That looks like bad news. What the? I can see way ahead, but I can't move forward. Hold on a minute. This is the way to the throne, but it's spatially segregated. And that means... Simply put, there's something like an invisible wall there. Bronner said he'd separated Dragula from the castle. This is what he was talking about. So long story short, we can't move on from here. Exactly. Let's find another route. Well, there's some funny fluff dialogue, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go fight the boss then, because I think I've been everywhere in this castle, except for that one, st except for the starting room. I can't get up there yet. This is where we're gonna fight the other sister. We tire of waiting for you. Are you ready to die yet? Hold it, you two are being tricked by Brawner! What a pathetic joke. I have no time to waste listening to the words of a despicable human. <laughs> More like despicable me. Nothing we see will matter. They're completely under Brawner's control. Damn it. No choice now. Well, for what you've done, we'll play as hard as you like. Let's go, Loretta. Yes, Stella. Alright. Oops. Oh, he, he, he's already, he, he got targeted hard. Oh, 
But it looks like one of them is more magic based than the other. Man, my shit's getting drained like rapidly. Yeah, this is a high tonic. I mean, sure, I'll do whatever. Yeah, piercing beam ain't gonna do shit when they're uh, when when I'm grounded like this. Ooh, I could do tempest actually. Sounds like a fun idea. I'm literally standing right next to her. She ain't doing shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of MP again. Man, I ran out of MP really freaking fast. <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta pay attention to my health though. <laughs> I think I mixed their voices up. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got them good. Forgive me, Eric. Stop it. Please, don't hurt my daughters, I beg of you. What voice did I give him? Oh, yeah, I gave him like the Palpatine voice. Why are you trying to stop me? We know the truth. You really aren't related to each other. F family isn't just about blood relations. We are joined together by our very souls. Enough. We shall flee the castle. What? I can't endanger my daughters any further. Destroying this castle, that's what both of you want, right? Farewell. Hey, wait! The castle's crumbling, we have to run! Damn you, Brawner. Oh man, we made it out. Damn it. In the end, that monster Brawner escaped. Still, we stopped Dracula's revival, so that's good enough, don't you think? You're concerned how I feel? Well, I guess you're right. After all, I do feel a little responsible for you, so... Oh, by the way, where's Vincent? You think he escaped the castle? Oops, I knew we forgot something. <laughs> I have no fear. He's just fine. Eric, is that true? Thank goodness. Sorry I wasn't able to keep my promise to you. It's alright. Now that Dracula's castle's gone, I'll soon vanish. I have one last request, though. My daughters. Eric! He disappeared. I wonder what he was trying to ask us at the end. Beats me. But look, we have to track down Bronner now. You're right. Along with those other two. Alright, let's go, Charlotte. Right. Yeah, we gotta go find them. Data's been saved. Game over! <laughs> what do you mean, D game over? Okay, well, clearly I'm missing something. So, by fighting them, you get a game over? What? Okay. Um, well, what am I missing, then? Like I'm, let me look. I'm like I'm looking at the map. I don't see anywhere else I could go. Hmm. If I go in here, it just progress. It, I just um. Hmm. What can I do actually?
Hmm. Well, this is gonna bug me. Let me figure this out. Cause we're only half an hour in. I, I can't. I already feel. I'm already at a roadblock, bro. Let me see. Um, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, bad ending. <laughs> the bad ending <laughs> is where you get a game over screen. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Instead of executing the twins, you get Charlotte to purify them with the Sanctuary spell. Oh. Right, right, you have to go to the Sandy Grave. So the Sanctuary spell is actually required for the true ending. I mean, I was, I, I was gonna, I was gonna get that actually, but I just forgot like an idiot. So, oh, that's the wrong, uh, that's the wrong place. <laughs> he can do a hair flip. That's funny. All right. Okay. Um. Let's go to this one. Also, I found out, I found out that Jonathan is voiced by Liam O'Brien. Which is hilarious. I didn't even notice, because, you know, I'm so used to his voice being, like, super deep and shit. You know, for Akihiko. So, it really, I, it really, I really, I really didn't ca catch that. Alright, well, I don't remember where the spell is. Like, I don't remember where we have to use it. But... We're gonna do that. Freaking stupid barrel, man. Also, apparently there's... It kind of looks like there's a path down there. Hmm. I don't know about that either. Hmm. Well, it's not here, obviously. Well, according to my map, there's a few areas we haven't been yet. So let's go over here, then. And screw the, screw the, uh, screw the monster. I'm not fighting you. Okay, um, according to my map, I've never been down here. So I dead ass just missed, I missed a part of this. Oh, there was a freaking save and warp here this whole time. I missed it. Oh, look at me finding new areas. Nope, not finding you again. Not finding you either. I can just damage boost past it at this point. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't even take that much damage. Uh oh, I think this is where I need the um this is where I need the frog, the toad, or whatever. Yeah. This is where you get sanctuary at. So it's just kind of randomly tucked away in that little hole there. Very random, <laughs> if you ask me. Where's Ice Needle? There it is. Now you, you, get, you get a serious amount of skills, though. Also, how do I get up there? I don't think we learn a... we don't learn a, um... Ow. We don't learn any, like, frickin'... what you call it? Ow. 
We don't learn any wall jumps, do we? <laughs> the thing is, they, they, they force you to come back to one of the most boring areas in the game. <laughs> The frickin' desert area. Ow. I mean, there is a, there are a few warp points up ahead. <laughs> Nine damage, wow, so threatening. Devil wheel. Hey, it's fine. I can go to the save. According to my map, there's also like two other unmarked spots, but I honestly don't know if those are even worth going for at this point. Maid. Why are there maids in the pyramid? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Okay, so we got the Sanctuary move now, but you're supposed to use to purify them. <laughs> I sent, uh, I sent my friends a freaking um, a picture of Byleth in a school uniform. Half of them said, oh shit, and the other of them said mid, <laughs> which is hilarious. And what did Matteo say to me? He said whoops. Because <laughs> we were supposed to play the other day, but he forgot. Ah, I'll, I'll bug him and see if he's free tomorrow. Okay, so now we have Sanctuary. Now we could try and purify them. Which, apparently, it says it takes, like, a couple of minutes to fully charge or something. Which, uh, that's kind of wild, if that's true. Master's Keep. Which is not spaced, by the way. Why the hell is there no spaces? I don't know. Well, maybe I should try it out and get a feel for it. Where is Sanctuary? Oh, it's right here. Ah, okay. So I have to charge that up and, um... Somehow not get hit during that, I don't know. Maybe I could have Jonathan, like, taunt or something. Oh, that, that went fucking great. <laughs> Alright. Alright, get... Tar target Jonathan. Oh. But if he gets hit, he I can't do my magic. Fuck. Maybe don't have him out then. Yeah, how am I going to be able to do this then? I have to somehow get this off without them interrupting me. <laughs> but how is that gonna happen? Hmm. The, the freaking ice isn't helping, bro. Dang. Alright, can you stop with the frickin' ice? I'm just gonna sit in this corner, don't mind me. Fuck. Yeah, stop. Stop doing that. Let me charge up. Bruh. I was about to frickin' do it!
They gave you almost enough time to do it, <laughs> too. That's the thing. Oh, why the fuck am I all the way back here? I did not save after getting back to the Master's Keep, apparently. Okay, well, let's fix that then. Actually, none of them are- none of them have spaces. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I'm just now noticing that. Might have to do with, um... Might have to do with, like, how it's formatted in Japanese or something, I don't know. So it says Master Skeep. Skeep. Whatever Skeep is. Alright, let's save here then. I'm pressing the wrong button. Well, maybe I, maybe I need to use the un uh, version first, maybe, to stun them or something? I mean, that's a possibility. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. I'm almost done. Got him. That's that's all you have to do. You just have to manage to charge up. Is that it? The spell was perfect. Now let's see if it was effective. They look uh they look human now. I Loretta, are you alright? Stella. The vampire's control seems to be fading. It's a success. Well, of course. No problem, as you'd say. Wait, we've... What have we been doing? The heir to the vampire killer, Jonathan Morris, correct? I apologize for all that we put you through. Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. And Miss Charlotte... Thank you so much for setting us free. Sure thing. The curse may be lifted, but you should still take it easy. No, I don't think so. Loretta, I think we should stand up. Stella, are you alright? After what we've been through? I know, but there's a job that we must do now. But... Remember your dignity. We'll have time to mourn what happened when it's all over. I'm sorry you had to see that. Once more, our family shares the fate of the Morris family. We are Lacards, after all. I'm Stella, and this is my younger sister, Loretta. And we are... We already know. Anyways, we must hurry. We must defeat Brawner. The peace he's making now is meant to destroy the world. What? He said it was almost complete. It's in the studio painting. There's the studio painting. It's in this inner room. But even for us, entering the picture is impossible. There's one option, however. What is it? The studio painting is sealed by four paintings surrounding it. Meaning we need to break the seal to enter the painting. I see. You'll help us, right? Well... It's no use. I'm amazed they can even talk like this after being under such a powerful curse. They can't even move. It's true, but that's not all. The door to the inner room can only be opened by the magic of either Brawner or ourselves. So you'll stay here and open the door for us? Sure, no problem. <laughs> there you go, saying no problem again. One more thing. It's about the vampire killer. We can perform a ritual to unlock the power of the whip. Unfortunately... I know, I know. Using it will consume my soul, right? Please don't forget that. You must use it wisely. 
If you're prepared, then just tell us. Listen, about your father... None of that. Once this is all over, then you can tell us about him. Father. For our own eyes. Loretta. I understand. Let's all do what Destiny's intended for us. Right, no problem. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got that done, so let's go save. So this is how you actually progress. <laughs> you don't get the bad ending. I mean, hey, at least I got to show off the bad ending. It seems like I always accidentally get the bad ending. And then I have to look up like, huh, how do I do that? Well, you can actually talk to them. Are you prepared to unlock the power of the vampire killer? I can say yes or no. Um, not yet. Well, actually, what happens if I do? Because I can just go in here. You know, let's find out what happens. I'm curious. Yes. You'll have to face this challenge alone. Are you sure about this? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I understand. Loretta, begin preparations. Right away, Stella. Miss Charlotte, please stand back. Right. Alright then. I shall now incarnate the last memory of the Belmonts inhabiting the whip. Fight the memory and defeat it to make the whip recognize you as its rightful owner. Once you do that, you'll be able to trigger the whip's true power. I see. No problem. Let me have it. Ready, Loretta? Yes, Stella. Oh shit! I gotta fight Richter! Oh fuck. I'm fighting Richter, guys. And he he's kicking my ass! Well, I even have it on. Holy lightning. Wait, I'm still wearing the silk hat. Damn, Rector hits like a truck. Okay, maybe this is why they don't want you to do this right now. Alright, what 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 kind of um oh, we can do defensive form. Fuck. Oh my god, Richter is kicking my ass. <laughs> oh my god. So, it is. What, what, so, what is. Uh, is Richter like a super boss or something? I should probably put on a better weapon, although I don't think I have a different weapon. Oh, I have the Nebula, never mind. I'm gonna range I'm gonna range the shit out of him. I think do they give you your potions back? I don't think they do. That did not that that did not do shit. Ow. Am I, am I dead, bro? Oh, he's getting serious. Fuck me. Do 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 do. They do not give you your potions back. What the shit? I could probably do that, though, with, um... I don't know. I could probably do that, though. I just need potions first. Also, I can think I can do Sanctuary on, um... Vincent now. 
Yo, I was not expecting a Richter super boss, bro. That is actually amazing. Eric, we lifted the curse from your daughters. Thanks, my magical genius. You in time? I don't believe it. It's a miracle. They said they won't ask about it until it's all over. That's good. If they knew what I'd become, it'd only upset them. Now you can unlock the true power of the vampire killer. That's what they said. I'll give it a try if I feel like it. Well then, now that you know how John felt, perhaps that'll be enough. <laughs> You're back. Yeah, and guess what? I can't do any of these still. Excuse me. What's wrong? A little bird told me that you two lived at the vampire's curse. So, if it's true, can you cure me? Oh, I forgot. Right, it's a piece of cake for a genius such as myself. Please, I beg of you. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it really does take a long time to do it, though. Oh, fantastic. You two really are incredible. Except it was just me who did it. Now I can get back to business. You have my eternal gratitude. So how about a freebie as a token of gratitude? Absolutely not. That has nothing to do with this. A man has to earn a living. He really takes this seriously. Yeah, so that, you don't actually have to free him. You could just say, like, nah. But, um, oh my god, I can't, I just realized I can't buy shit. I don't have any money. I actually need money again. I thought I was, I thought I was, like, a void, like, void of money, you know? Well, are we wearing the royal sandals still? I forget. Yeah, she still has those on. Charm necklace, which we have on already. Yeah, um... There's nothing- that, yeah, there's not really anything I can sell. So, I guess we gotta get to farming some money now. I will attempt Richter one more time, and then maybe I'll fight him later. Because I think you're not meant to fight him until the very end of the game. I don't- I mean, I don't know where I am at in the game anyway. Like, how far am I? I think I'm only like, I, honestly though, I think I'm only like halfway. So if I got a little stronger, and I was able to tank more of, you know, more hits, then I probably could beat Richter. Oh. Anyways, let me try something. What does the defensive, what does Stonewall do? It only works as long as you're standing still. It's kind of silly. Offens offensive form might be the way to go, really. Alright, let's try this again. I mean, I haven't played- I haven't played, um, Jonathan that much anyway. It does 34 now. Ow. You want to be careful. Oh, he can do holy water too? Also, I can just do this. Ow. No. Fuck. Dang it. Hold on. Um. I'll reset. <laughs> Actually, if anything, if anything, I should probably just save before I fight him. Like, save state. 
Then that way I don't waste my potions. <laughs> Let's just try it. One more time, one more time. How much damage do I do without it? 30. And with the offensive form, I do 34. Steal a ball. What if the how does the steal a ball work? Bro. That did not fucking count. Get out of here. I can just throw a steel ball at Rector. That sounds really funny, actually. Oh, wow, that actually does good damage. Cheese. Bro, Rector, my dude. Don't get stuck in the corner, bro. Come on. Aiming the iron ball at him is kind of hard, though. I don't know how much health Richter has, anyway. I was like 2,000 or some stupid number. Also, he can just do that. He can just whip me out of nowhere, bro. This is really cool, though. It makes sense to have Re oh. It makes sense to have Richter's battle theme be a uh, divine bloodlines, though. Okay, well, rip. I can't beat Richter yet. Um, let me, let me look up something. I, I want to know how much health he has. And then I might, t I might go take a little break, actually. I get a, tr get a drink, you know. Let's see, Richter. Richter. Alright. So, a Portrait of Ruin. Let's see. Um. Um. Hmm. If you beat Richter, you get one of the best weapons in the game. Oh, hell yeah. Well, my question is, where... Is there, like, a HP thing? Um... Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. Wow, Richter is in dead cells. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Um, enemy data. That's what I'm looking for. He has 2,000 HP. Okay. So... If he... Wait... Hang on a second. He has more health in the Japanese version? Is that true? Wait, no. No, this- okay, no, hang on. There's two different Richters. I'm confused. There's a doppelganger Richter? <laughs> Richter. Richter. Okay, no, apparently, um... Apparently this Richter, the one that I'm fighting, is weak. He, he has 5,000 HP. 
Are you whacking a vampire hunter with a holy weapon? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what this doppelganger Richter is all about. I think, um... I think that's for... Okay, so I kind of spoiled myself by accident, but... Apparently, if you can, if you beat the game, you get to do a second playthrough with Richter. Which, um... That's pretty cool. I mean, every, every Castlevania game has had, like, a bonus character, though. Like, I think the last game you could play with, like... I forget who you could play it with. But Richter mode has been a thing since Symphony of the Night, though. So, like, it's nothing too new. But it is still cool. Anyways, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I gotta refill my juice. But we will do more of this game and we'll see what's beyond, um... We'll see what's beyond the door. So, yeah. See you guys in a sec. <laughs> Seb asks... <laughs> what, do you have friends? Because if you do, why you play this game by yourself? What, am I not allowed to play games by myself anymore or something? <laughs> I don't know, man. Charlotte. Apparently I'm not allowed. Oh. Okay, so I was kind of spoiled on this too. But apparently, um... Apparently these paintings are like... Um, inverted versions of previous levels. Dark Academy. So, the other paintings are apparently remixed. Mandragora. Oh wait, wrong, <laughs> wrong spell. Uh, there's Ice Needle. Big froggies. I got a... a Pioko. I mean, hey, at least this one is rainy. So it's a little interesting. And there's a naked lady in that file. Crazy. Wow, that was going great. <laughs> Ooh, I got another fedora. Actually, now that I think about it, like, I don't really have that much potions. I gotta be- so I gotta be careful. Yeah, I hear flea men. Wait, are those pancakes? Yo, pancakes! Let's go. What, is this like a flea men generator or something? So yeah, apparently this is like the... So this is like that forest world, but it's, you know, dark, and there's rain. Which, I mean, I, I'd say it, it's different enough. It's different enough that it's interesting. Wow, eat the dragonfly. That's not a dragonfly. Weirdest dragonfly ever I ever seen. <laughs> the light keeper. I love, I love that I love that some enemies just have like over the top um like deaths. <laughs> For no reason. Oh, what's this? Owl morph. Oh, that's our flying ability. Damn, bro, like, actually melted in front of me. Ooh, and gold plate. That's for, um, for Jonathan, obviously. And, you know, what do you know? It's better than the silver plate. Who would have guessed that? 
Who would have guessed that gold is better than silver? Except Minecraft has taught me that it's not. Well, honestly, I need all the money I can get at this point. So what the fuck? It's like a lion. It's like shooting ice at me or something. Here, I'm gonna use good old Tempest. It's like an ice lion. Hmm. Oh, I'm cursed. Shit. Yeah, let's use let's use let's use a potion or two. Wait a minute. How do I get how do I get over there? Oh wait. Oh, how do you, how do I get over there? Oh well, duh, use the freaking ability that you just got. Yeah, now I can fly. This doesn't even read. This doesn't even um. Those guys are still annoying as hell, though. It doesn't even cost MP once you're in the form. Which is definitely really neat. Alright, that's enough, bro. I hate these damn imps, bro. They're so annoying. I want whatever this is. I hate enemies that like, like, fuck up your controls. Lame whip. That's gotta be cool, right? Hmm. Is it worth it to go back and save? I mean, they're, they're they're pretty generous with the saves, I find. Bathroom. Why the hell is there just a random bathroom here? Bathroom jump scare? healing for this guy, then. Okay, never mind. I didn't need to. Ha! Oh, that was a, that was a bun. Noodle bun. Alright, let's go back up here. Once, so now that, now we have, like, infinite flight... I am probably going to, um... I'm probably gonna go back to the starting area. And use that. And we'll see what I can do with that. That is still a re this is still a really amazing ability, man. High potion. We have witches and whatever the hell the other enemies are. I don't know, but they dropped something. Dalmatica. Um. Increases my intelligence by a lot, but it reduces everything else. Eh, whatever, I guess. Only guess you're weak to ice. Or not. Oh hell no, not this enemy again, bro. <laughs> One of the worst enemies.
lesser demon. Yeah, those flies ain't shit. Could have brought more healing. I mean, I couldn't have bring more healing. I'm so I'm out of uh, I'm out. Oh god damn it! Not what? Not this guy again. All right, go, Jonathan. Attack him. What am I supposed to do here, bro? Wow, they're never going to heal so much. Okay, he gone. Those guys are pretty scary. And this gives me... MP max, nice. <laughs> you know what? You know what I keep forgetting about, guys? The fact that I can do super attacks. You did the wrong way, bro. And now I'm almost dead. Why wow, healed me so much? I'm just like craving a heal or a save point because I haven't seen one forever. Pancakes. Okay, there we go. That healed me a decent amount. There we go. There's escalators in here. Where's the save points at? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Not enough saves in this place. I'm killing witches. My worst nightmare. A room full of imps. I mean, they're not that- they're not that bad. But I still hate them. <laughs> there you go. This is Ice Needle, but better, essentially. Teleporter, nice. Well, actually, then, if that's the case, I should probably go back and go to that room. I'm just gonna keep mashing. <laughs> The student witches don't have that much health. Get out of here. Wow, the student witches are learning how to fly. Crazy. What's the point of this room? Why are there so many dead rooms? Okay, so now we're back here again. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let me just go back and save again. I 
I don't I don't know what that person was talking about. It, this isn't that like this is a di I think this is way different. Like it's not just a color swap. Because I think one of my favorite things about the inverted castle in um, Symphony is the fact that, you know, it's mirrored and it's differently colored and there's a bunch of different enemies everywhere that aren't in the normal castle. That's what I like about it. And I mean, to be honest, I think that's what's so cool about the uh, inverted castle. Okay, so now we're looping back around. And also, this music is really good. <laughs> I didn't mention that. Yeah, get that guy out of here. We got froggies. I got another I got another bird bird food not literal bird food though Wow at this point I should just start spamming that just is it oops all challenge is gone now. The question is, where do I go? Okay, that's the boss. And this is save. So, I guess... Oops, hit my mic. <laughs> Are you lonely? Do you need therapy? <laughs> How about I go up here, then? Because, uh, well, since we know where the boss is, we can just go over here. All these bird ups. Yo, I got free money and a noodle bun. Let's go. And now I'm constantly flashing. Still not sure what that means, honestly. Is the boss racist? Which boss? <laughs> Are you talking about the boss from Metal Gear Solid 3? <laughs> I don't know, let's find out if this boss is racist, though. Well, it's Frankenstein. Frankenstein's pretty racist. Alright, let's do, um... Let's do Piercing Beam. Wait, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know Frankenstein was the ter was a Terminator. <laughs> that goes pretty hard, honestly. gonna tank this. I'm running out of health, though. Am I, am I already out of MP already? Oh yeah, that, that hits me too. 
I might be cooked if I don't uh, dodge. Bruh. Frankenstein fucked me up. <laughs> well, I ran out of potions, so I have to do this fight without um, losing all my potions. So, yeah. I mean, it's either I do Piercing Beam, or I do, um, like, Tempest or something. Or I could, well, actually, I don't know, well, you know what, let's we could try Dark Rift, maybe. Let's give it a try. I want to see just how much it does. Oh wow. <laughs> that is kind of OP actually. And what I can do, right? Is when he when I when he moves away from it, I can just re-equip it. Try, try and knock him in. Try and knock him back into the, the dark hole. There we go. She's the shit out of him that time. <laughs> that might be like one of the coolest Frankenstein bosses because he literally has a freaking gun. Like, you gotta admit, that goes pretty hard. Alright, so what do we get for beating him? We get the ability to go to another, um, one of these four paintings. So all the paintings are connected to each other then. Interesting. I mean, hey, depending on how I feel, I might be able to get all of these done. We'll see. Obviously, I'm gonna go save and buy more potions. How much money do I have? I have 2,700 gold. That's not as much as I thought. I'm actually strat for cash in the end game now. Alright, anyway, let me, uh... Let me open up my window. Just something I'm gonna do every stream, I guess, when I stream like late at night. So, cause sun goes down at like seven now, and it's crazy. I think maybe the reason why I squint my eyes at this game so much is because of the fact that, um, like it's so hard to see the top screen. <laughs> I know. I'll tell you what I know. Yes, please. That whip is bound to the Bellbot bloodline. As such, the Morris family cannot use his power directly. And that's why the Lacard family exists, right? Exactly. The Lacards have the power to incarnate the memory of the Belmonts engraved in the whip. Ah, I see. Overcoming that makes the whip recognize the user. Yes, precisely. Hey, wait, I don't quite follow this. Put it simply, you have to battle the whip's memory of past Belmonts in order to use it. Whoa, no way. They're a legendary family that only exists in myths. Or rather, I wish they were. Still, a father could do it. I can too. That's the spirit. It's not an actual Belmont, it's just an image of them. Never forget that. No problem. <laughs> 
Ready to face the castle's lord? Do your best. Master Jonathan, Miss Charlotte. Sure, no problem. <laughs> bro, bro will not stop saying that. Nothing's impossible for me. I'll make you, a deal. you see, now that he now he said that like ten times, though, so I can't I can't like you know unhear it. So we also so we have the flame whip and the nebula. Um, I guess we can get rid of this now because I think the flame whip's better, kind of. I don't need the silver plate. Um, this is cool and all, but I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna get rid of the silk hat. Actually, no, get rid of the fedora. And I think that's it. Thank well, you. now I have money. I'll make you a deal. Money? Uh, I also actually I'm good on tonics, honestly. Boom! There we go. Thank you. Save the game. Do 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 do. All right, so here, actually, wait, 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 don't. No. We're not going there yet. We're gonna go down here real quick. Since we have, um, since we have the owl ability, you know, you know what we gotta do. We can finally go up here and see what's up here. I keep forgetting it's up at top. <laughs> so, what is up here? All boot. Boost all stats temporarily. Oh, wow. I could just throw that on, honestly. That was that was up chilling up there this whole time, I guess. Wait, so hang on, I'm confused. Also, he just kind of sits there. I need there's something I need to test. Mm, but I don't know how to test it. I need a bunch of zombies. Oh, his strength boost affects me as well. That's actually really cool. I think I think that's what it's doing. Yeah. That's what I feel like it's doing. So in theory, I could also have him do a defensive one as well. Wow, okay. <laughs> Just lower- increase all my stats. Dude, I basically have Heat Riser now. Isn't that awesome? Oh, wait, I'm not, supposed, I'm not supposed to go up there. See, the thing is, is all boosts would be more useful if I was playing um, as... If I was playing as Jonathan, because... Then I could use sub-weapons still. Alright, back to the Master's Keep, then. My knowledge, there's not any. I don't think there's anywhere else I can use the um the owl ability. I mean, at least it doesn't look that way on the map. All right, I'm supposed to go uh over here. So if I wanted to, I could just increase my uh. All right, let's go here next. So in theory, I could just like, increase all my stats and then just go around and kill things. Boop. 
burnt paradise. Immediately an axe. Vice beetle. Okay, well in that case, Jonathan doesn't need a defensive form, I don't think. <laughs> he has grenades. Well, if anything, then... Let's try, um... Well, let's keep Ice Needle out. If anything, I, I wish he had a stance that increased my, um... Oh, hell no. Nah. Well, that sucks. Actually, maybe I should do defensive then. Just always have my defense increased. Rainbow slimes. Oh shit, I'm poisoned. I don't have any anti venoms on me. That's pretty bad. Should have, should have. I, I didn't even consider that I probably want those. I don't remember if po poison ever goes away either. That's the problem. Oh yeah, it does. It's just it takes a little while. Okay, well, whatever you do, then watch out for those those rainbow slimes. We have purple fleeman, or sorry, Ripper. That also poisons me? Are you fucking shitting me, dude? Alright, let me go up here then. Never mind, we're not going up there, I guess. Gotta to waste all my frickin' potions on this shit. Gold leggings. Oh, I guess I can sell the silver leggings now. Bro, I'm about to go. I'm about to freaking leave this place and get me some more anti venom. Dude, this is getting ridiculous. This is getting absurdly annoying. Yeah, don't screw this. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back for anti-venom now. Oh. Wait, a spell that cures poison. Actually, that's pretty useful. I need that right now. There. Okay, I guess I don't need anti-venom anymore. Uh, I guess just be careful, you know. I also got uh, the armor knights. Is there anything over? No, 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 not dealing with that. I noticed there was, um. I noticed there was something over at the start. I'm almost able to kill that guy in one hit, too. He gone. Oh, what if it turns out that's just like a save point or something? That'd be funny.
You know, I am kind of curious. No, it's a warp point. Well, actually, that's a good thing to have. Ow. Ow. We're gonna be equipping that, that poison, that pure poison spell a lot. I think if you charge it, it does it for both characters. The thing is, I, get to, I have to keep locating my spells every time. I wish I could, like, favorite spells or something. What the fuck is this nonsense? Asshole Pong? <laughs> God damn it, he hang my mic. This is like the cl clown level asshole edition. Cause let's put, put out like a fuck ton of poison enemies everywhere. Also, sideways, sideways Medusa heads. There's an item over there. What, what is this? Pin the spinach. Wow, how delicious. I'm absolutely dying to have spinach right now. It's like when Jose was talking about, um, creamy spinach during Silent Hill 2 yesterday. <laughs> Ow, I, I couldn't even freaking see there's a wall there. Yeah, I swear, everything just blends together in this, in this level. Spoiled milk. Why in the holy fuck would I want that? Jesus. Great axe. Mmm, it is exceptionally heavy. Well, if he wears that, um, he's barely gonna be able to hit with it, probably. Double axe armor. Ooh, berserker mail. It's probably better than the gold plate. Um, armor that increases damage dealt out and received. Oh, uh, I could make an exception, an exceptionally glass cannon, if I want. That's kind of neat, honestly. I always love things that double the damage you take, but the- and also the damage you deal. Alright, we got down here. Another save. I'm always grateful to see save points. Is that, a, is that a Gorgon? Yep. He's very shiny gold in this game. <laughs> okay. I guess we're just going in here. 
wash their armor. Damn. Skele skeleton tree. That is a great enemy name. Alright. Whoops. Well, let's see what's up here. If there's anything good up here, that is. There is a high mind up. Or no, there's a that's a max max AMP up. And there's a shit ton of yellow Medusa heads in here, which I don't like. So you don't need the owl to get that then. Nothing here? Okay. Oh. Yes, I got a level up. It's now level 30. Okay, now, now we're in the upside down segment. There's a financier here. What is that? Is that an is that what is that? An item? What 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 is that? A French pastry with an irresistible buttery aroma. Oh, it's a food. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. I'm just gonna ignore all these da those damn poison beetles then. Nothing over here. Oh, look, my favorite enemy, the rainbow slimes. Got them all by. Yo, is that the Encyclopedia 3? Yo! Or Home of Arms 3. Finally! Volume 3 of 3. So it's even better now. I think the I think the hitbox is a little better. Yeah, she really does not get that many melee weapons, surprisingly. I feel like she should get more, but he's mostly magic anyway, so who cares? Oh, well, that was a waste. Fuck. <laughs> I hate these damn slimes, bro. Yeah, get out of here, you dumb slimes. Nobody likes you. I feel like I've been everywhere. Well, in actuality, I've only explored half of this place. Oh god, fleeman everywhere. Spicy shrimp, mmm. Oh, the boss is just right there, okay. Ooh, yeah, that is good. And then again, I don't know what spicy shrimp tastes like. But I mean, anything spicy tastes good, though. 
So maybe having it spicy would make me like it, I don't know. Hmm, so I think now it would probably be a good idea to warp back and then do the other path. Right? Because now we have the warp to the boss. Any good YouTube uploads? Oh yeah, can we talk about the fact that apparently Echoes of Wisdom has a terrible frame rate? <laughs> You've probably heard that by now already. But, um, day one, people got that shit running at like 120 FPS on MU. But on real Switch, on Switch hardware, it runs at like 45. It's really, t it's apparently pretty terrible. And I don't think it's, it's not really the fault of the, um, the Nintendo, like, game designers. It's, it's, just, it's a, it's a problem that the Switch is so fucking underpowered now that it can't run all these new games that are coming out. Like, that's why, um, that's why TTYD is 30 FPS. That's why Tears of the, or not Tears of the Kingdom. That's why, um, Echoes of Wisdom has a terrible frame fluctuation. Like, we can't enjoy all these new games at their intended frame rates because of the fact that the Switch is so damn underpowered. Which is why we really do need a new console more than ever at this point. Bakatwa. Hello, I'm trying to go through here. Here, let's eat all these funny food items. I mean, might as well, right? You gotta use them somewhere. Uh, I'm just gonna go up here to fill out the map. There we go. There's some songs I'm definitely gonna add on my Spotify once I'm done with this game, though. I haven't added enough songs in this game anyway. Or I haven't added enough songs on my Spotify in general recently. Ooh, Artemis shoes. Man, I've heard, I've heard the word Artemis a lot, though, ever since I've been watching Sailor Moon. Shoes blessed by a goddess. They don't really seem all that blessed, considering they lower my intelligence by one and my mind by three. How are those worse? <laughs> How are those worse than my royal sandals that I found in, like, World 2? Or in the desert world? I don't know, man. The Royal Sanders are just too good. I haven't found a better footwear than that. I've just had these Royal Sandals on all the game, and they've just been, like, amazing. That move is stupidly broken. Wait, so the, these frickin' these frickin' fleemen can't even hit me because their needles go downwards. Nope, not dealing with that shit. God damn it, I dealt with it anyways. There we go. Um what do I wanna do? Also, yeah, so, what's the point of clear skies? Like, I think, I think maybe that could be good if you're playing Jonathan, but this skill is just completely outclassed by Dark Rift, because Dark Rift absorbs all projectiles. Which kind of, it just kind of defeats the purpose of it. Yeah, it's just it's just pretty uh it's just pretty silly, honestly. Okay, 
Okay, well here's a here's a room that I could I can't do. Or I wouldn't be able to do this room without um I wouldn't be able to do this room without the owl ability, it looks like. Dang, I wish let's equip that. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to get through here without- I mean, you could go the other way around, I guess, but why would I want to do that? <laughs> why would I want to go all the way back? Oh. Yeah, I remember there's freaking Medusa heads in here. Damn, we're getting all the upgrades here. Wow, thanks for knocking me all the way down. Hmm, wait, hang on, what was that? Oh, nothing there, okay. My shit got interrupted. That was really rude of them. Upside down skeletons, guys. Ice cream! Yay! <laughs> yeah, that, that, I love that. I love that move. It's so good. A thousand blade is so good. I mean, then again, any any time you're able to throw a thousand knives at once. It's pretty fucking OP. I think the funny thing is that it's never a thousand. It's always like, I don't know, like 50 or something. It's just called a thousand blades because of course that sounds cool. And I gotta deal with these freaking Gleeman now. Engagement ring. Is that any good? Consume HP instead of MP when your partner takes damage. Ooh. That's actually a really interesting uh, piece of accessory. So in theory, you get more MP, but you take double damage. But I also would hate to have to worry about Jonathan eating shit. And, uh, me taking damage for it. Hey, I mean, it's there. That could be a fun- you know, honestly, that alone... ...could be, like, a fun gimmick playthrough. It's like, hey, can I beat Dawn of Sorrow... ...um, with wearing the engagement ring the entire time, you know? And, you know, be like, you know, you know what, gnarly, make that a video. M make that a video idea. Also, I think that's our first Mana Prism, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sorry, it's Super Tonic. What the fuck happened to Mana Prism, man? That's a way cooler name. Well, actually, Super Tonic's pretty cool, too, but nah, nothing beats Mana Prism. Also, I'm almost dead, I just realized. Ice cream! Eat the ice cream. I fucking hate these guys. Do I have, like, a screen nuke or something? I do, I have Tempest. <laughs> There. Screw those guys. I'm not even gonna bother with half these enemies, because they're on the ceiling. Oh, actually... 
we've made it back around to the boss. Uh, well, the save is over there. There we go. Yep, so okay, now I have, now I have actually 100% in this area. Almost. There's like one little square I'm missing, but that's about it. I don't feel like uh, dealing with that slime, so I'm just gonna let him go. Hmm. Dark Rift is pretty OP. I'm gonna use that again. Oh, we got a dragon. Oh, it's, uh, Medusa. I think. Yeah, it's Medusa. Oh, man, it makes sense, makes sense she'd do that. I think he's probably, a, he's probably resistant to dark, though. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health, apparently. <laughs> Pac-Man. Hmm, honestly, I'm actually not too sure what the ideal uh, spell is here. Rock Riot's not bad. Oh yeah, why am I not using, I'm not using Jonathan's defense. Let's try that again. Yeah, Ice Needle is not bad for this boss. I am almost dead. Playing with power. Oh. Fuck, I am not. Bro, she does so much damage. Like, I keep forgetting. I'm not even paying attention to my health at this point. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to figure out a, a good strategy for this boss. Hmm. I don't know. Spirit of Light, maybe? <laughs> Knee Strike. I can try that out. Let's start off, let's start off with the defense, though. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. Oh, 
Alright, let's uh pay attention to my health this time. I don't know how you do I still don't know how you dodged that. I mean, I hope I'm damaging her, even when she's off screen. Alright, we got, um. We gotta, we gotta make these items count. Spirit of Light does not want to hit, does it? Watch out for the snack. <laughs> you still get hit anyways. I love how I can hit it even after that. Wait, why didn't I get hit that time? The hell for that's kind of weird. You got a lot of health, clearly. I had time. Oh, I'm out of po I'm out of time. I yeah, let's let's use our MP. There we go. Actually, dodge it this time. <laughs> Got he. Bye, Medusa. <laughs> I mean, I died a couple times, so I say that was a challenging fight. <laughs> you have the audacity to give me this goofy ass music. Jet Black Whip. Oh, he's still stolen. Is the Jet Black Whip any good? Um, imbue with the power of darkness. I mean, how how is it anyway? I don't know. I wish I could test it out on something that's not a that's not a Medusa head. I mean, that way might be good, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't do as much as the- wait, also this sword. An easy to wield sword, how good is it? Hmm. Or do you think I should just put the axe on him? Oh, I already sold the axe, never mind. Wait, never mind, the axe is right here. I mean, that might not be bad to have on him. Surely. Is it worth trying to fight Richter yet? Nah, we might fight Richter near the end of the game, I don't know. Alright, definitely save. Damn, how's it been two hours already? What the hell? 
I barely, I barely feel like I, I barely even feel like I started playing this tonight. I mean, this potentially might be all I end up doing tonight because uh, I don't know if Desmond's gonna want to do Terraria later. We'll see, I guess, right? All that's left now is Brawner. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. I swear by it. And I'll be there with him. Alright, I believe you. Still, don't do anything foolish. No problem. <laughs> Alright, I got... Oh my god, I have no money, dude. I'm so broke. And these only sell for one. Wait, oh, seven, seven, seven. Yo, that was a co that's a coincidence. You're back. Well done. Luck boost. Find the king birds. This is your Find the rare dodo and defeat it. Wow, what are the odds of me ending up with seven, seven, seven gold? I guess I really am lucky. Should I sell the castle maps now? <laughs> Are those worth selling? Yeah, I'll sell the flame. Oh my god, the jet black whip sells for so much. What's so good about that if it's selling for that much? It probably has like some secret properties or something. Jet black whip. For sure, darkness whip. Uh, apparently it's in Portrait of Ruin and Lords of Shadow, apparently. The Jet Black Whip is most effective when used against foes who are weak to dark. Like the Whip's memory. Oh. That's why you don't. So I can. I can do it. I could maybe fight Richter right now. I'm glad I didn't sell it then. Jeez. Sell the Flame Whip though. That's kind of whatever at this point. Sell the Tome of Arms too. Um, probably don't need this. Um. Oh yeah, I don't need the... Oh, actually... Wait, we don't need the silver leggings. We don't need Artemis shoes. And the engagement ring I'll keep for fun, for funsies. Alright, well. Let's get some, let's get some tonics. Get some more high potions. And, uh, some regular potions. There we go. Thank you. It's a good thing all those things, like, it's, it's a good thing all those drops sell for a lot, you know? Do, 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 do. Oh, you know, I'm gonna try fighting Richter now that I have that dark whip. And also I got gold leggings and the gold plate. A long cape. Wait, so I have two capes then. Also, volcano. Summon an erupting volcano. Oh yeah, right. That's his ability. Um, you know, let's try out volcano. I'm curious how that works. I like the background in that room. Yeah, because I was wondering, like, yeah, the whip's, like, it looks really weak. But the fact that you can use it against, uh, Alucard... Or not Alucard. Why I say Alucard? Richter is, uh, pretty good. Also, I didn't save, did I? No, I did. Damn, okay. Yeah, he's kicking my ass still. Yeah, 
I, I pretty much have to heal, like, all the damn time, otherwise he's gonna... I can't cheese Richter, dude. Whip hits like a truck. <laughs> Shit. If he has, f so he wait, hang on. So he has five thousand HP. Oh shit. So how many times, in theory, would I need to f hit, like, hit him to actually win? <laughs> So let me try. Let me see. Five thousand divided by seventy-five. I'd have to hit him like freaking sixty-six times, dude. Oh my god, I, that actually seems pretty tough. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I could use the um. Oh, I did save. Okay, good. Well, in theory, right? I could use the offensive form. And we can see what that would do against him. Oh, where am I going? He's literally right here. <laughs> it does... Is it? Is that a decent amount? This is 82 now. Stuck. Ow! Fuck. Okay, I should probably save state so I don't have to reset the game every time. <laughs> should we make that the goal of today's episode? Just to try and beat Richter? Oh, dude, I could be a action. I could be crazy and use the Berserker mail. <laughs> oh no. Yo, this might be a bad idea, but let's try it. One twenty-eight. Two hundred seventeen. He doesn't do that much more than I'm than I'm already doing. One twenty-eight. This is actually going really well. Hold up. Hold on, heal up. Hold up, heal up. This might actually be possible. Okay, he hit me way too many times there. I do not want to get hit by that. Dang. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm still wearing the, uh, still wearing the Berserker Mail. Berserker Mail might be the way to go, then. Hate when he just like pulls out the whip and you can't do anything. No, oh, no, why'd he do it again, bro? Ow. Alright, well, that's my last potion. Fuck. Okay, so let me let me do let me do another calculation. So now that I'm doing like 120 of damage to him, how much damage how many times do I actually need to hit him now? 41 times. If I can hit him 41 times, then I can kill him. But that's easier said than done. Well, it's doing 128. Damn, he, he's, he's getting trigger happy with that whip now. He can, like, recover easily from that shit. Yeah, of course, I mean, of course it sounds easy to hit him 41 times with a whip. But that's not a lot harder to do than it actually sounds. He just fucking he just fucking whipped the shit out of me. This might be how I win! Grand Cross? What the fuck is he doing Grand Cross for, bro? I'm stuck in a corner. I think this is the way win the fight. <laughs> I 
But why do you dash backwards into the, the holy water, dude? Getting good rhythm now. Look, you know, that's the only time we're gonna get hit is if he fucking jumps like that. Got him! Ooh, the true power of the vampire killer has been unleashed. Dude, I beat Richter, let's go! Dude, once I, dude, that was the only. I'm, I'm gonna be dead ass with you guys. That is the very first time in the series that I think the backwards dash is like essential to beating that boss. <laughs> like the the backwards dash dead ass made that fight way easier and way more doable. Ah, you've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Well, how'd it go? How's the vampire killer? Hey, no problem. <laughs> its power is pretty scary, though. Looks like the legends about it weren't lying. But, um... I know. Don't even overuse it, right? Well, I'll try my best. I'll be with you, so relax. You'll be fine. So... We have the true vampire killer now. Yeah, the legendary whip wielded by the Belmont family. So this is the best weapon in the game. Yeah, look at that. You can spin in every direction, woo! So now we have the best weapon in the game. That is pretty banger. I, I pretty feel pretty accomplished with myself now. Definitely saving after that. So, Jonathan's gonna be a pretty big help now, now that he can do that. Now he can use the frickin' vampire killer whenever the hell he wants. We've only been going for two and a half hours. I think we'll probably keep going. We could probably finish up the rest of the paintings. Hmm, let's get the desert out of the way. Forgotten City. Oh yeah, it's definitely a city. It's a desert, bro. You see, look at that 3D Sphinx in the background. Wait, what was I wearing again? Oh yeah, Spirit of Light. Let's get rid of that. It's just more mummies, bro. This is boring. Damn, Jonathan's doing a lot of damage, though. Ooh, what the hell? Demon head again. Oh, sandworms still exist. Oh, sorry, poison worm. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Okay, Jonathan, go 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 attack him. Or not. Yeah, that's one way to make an enemy more annoying. the money I can. Hey, look, stone masks. Free money, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, 
let's see a look. Oh yeah, I think, um... Actually, are all my potions used up? I think so. Eye for an eye, a small vengeance that shares damage received with enemies. And now we're at a dead end. Well, where do I go down? Where the sandworm was? Oh. I need to go back to the other one then. I need to go back to... Oh, now the music's epic. Laura. Who the heck's Laura? So it's like an upside down pyramid now. All right. Ugh. Hmm. I don't really know where to go. Armored Fleeman. That's a that, yeah. That enemy shows up from time to time. This is, this is some pretty banger music, I gotta say. I mean, honestly, at this point, Jonathan's gonna be doing most of the work, and not me. Alright, I saw... I know there was, like... There's multiple pathways in here. There or not. It's just a dead end. I guess I'll heal up. We have one more regular potion left. Old axe armor. Attica helm. A helmet with a feathered crest. It lowers intelligence, but I mean, who cares? You know, more strength and defense is always good. In theory, I could probably beat. I could have probably beat Alu. Or Al why is he saying Alucard? I could have probably beat Richter way earlier. There's Quetzalcoatl. Ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no Koopa. Now I'm just waiting for another save to show up. I haven't seen a save in a little bit. But at the same time, I also kind of want to get this part of the map marked off. There we go. Here's the save. I won't lie, it is pretty badass to get to fight Richter in this game. What the hell are these demons doing? I don't know, also I see a cube up there. I want whatever that cube is. I don't remember how to get to it. I think I just need the owl over there. Yeah, I don't think you can get this without the owl. 
Griffin Wing, jump higher with up and L. Am I not pressing L? It's wait, up and L. Am I stupid? Yeah, up and L. I'm pressing L though. It's not doing anything. Hello? Why doesn't this work? Oh, it's a Jonathan ability. Okay, so we have our double jump now. Or we have our we have our infinite jump move now. She can't do it though for some reason. It seems very odd. Alright, so we'll probably go finish up the rest of this um this desert. Oh, right, I need to take off the freaking owl now. Well, I think you need the you need the owl to get there to begin with. Oh, Princess Tiara. Um Hmm. It's a good selling item, I guess. Well, if I can't, um, I might have to make another round through the desert. Yeah, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, another 100 bucks. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Can I not ch Oh yeah, I can't chant spells when I'm crouched, right? Well, you need the frog to even get this far, so... Let's try it out. Jonathan, you're wasting my MP, bro. What are you doing? Meteor. You know, I haven't even tried out the volcano yet, but that sounds way more interesting. Some pretty damn good music, I gotta say. Ooh, what is oh yeah. Yo, wait, I just yeah, we I just realized we can go up there now. I wanna see what's up there. So uh, yeah, I need to go back for that armor that I saw back in um the desert. Book of Death. Is that a weapon? Oh yeah. A py a pirate entombed with the dead. Well, seems pretty weak in comparison. Is there is there a gimmick to it or something? Does it have like the dark element? Let me look. Book of Death. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Apparently, the Book of Death sucks. <laughs> because most enemies are resistant to dark. 
So uh, this this so that Telma Death is kind of basically useless then. Good to know. Ow. Bro, stop getting hit. Why am I still an owl? <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna use all my potions at this point. Okay, you're just gonna knock me back. Might need to skip these guys. Either that or pull or have Jonathan come out. Wait, I want that. Give me that. I can't grab that. Okay. Wow, that was lame. I couldn't grab that because it was like in a tight spot. Hmm. I'm looking for a teleporter now so I can go back and get my potions restocked. Jackal bones, yeah, he man. I don't know where I'm going at this point. Ugh. Ten dollars. They look more expired milk. The, the last thing you want is for your milk to go bad. But that might be what you get. No teleporter? Thank god, Jonathan kill those guys quickly now. Ooh, 2000 moon me. see a uh, some sort of brooch up there I really need a heal because I have no potions left look at all these freaking skeletons throwing shit thing in their hot shit Venus brooch Venus love me chain is the Venus brooch any good um, yeah, it is. Rouge blessed by Venus, goddess of love and beauty. Is it better than the uh, charm necklace? Eh, not really. I'll just replace my, my moon brooch with the Venus brooch then. And I still need a save point game. Where's my save point at? because I don't like these damn rainbow slimes. No, I mean, they're not that bad. No save? There's no save still. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, kill, the, kill those guys. I'm starved for save points. I haven't seen a save in so long. I don't need MP, I need HP! So there's nothing in here besides that, then. Great. Yeah, all I have is a spoiled milk, which won't do anything for me.
I mean, the save point isn't that far back, but it's, it's still quite a while. Also, I think he's cursed. Yeah, I got, I got uncursed potions, thankfully. I'm dead. Oh, that's a, that's that's death. Thank God I have. Thank God I have the freaking um. What you call it? The freaking vampire killer. Ooh. spicy lag there. What the hell is that all about? I mean, it is, I mean, I am rendering a video right now, to be fair. Come on, I just need a save point. Jonathan, get down there. The Yorick. Isn't this... All right. Thank God he can instantly kill those guys. <laughs> okay, we gotta be extra careful. Oh, well there's the boss. I think the save is right here. Okay, thank god. So, I missed, like, half this frickin' dungeon, dude. How the hell did I do that? Oops, not what I meant to do. Yeah, not what I meant to do, bro. Wait, 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 wait. HP and MP max? Dope. That, this room's a dead end. More spoiled milk. Okay, well now I know where the boss is. Oh, look at that. I haven't even been in this room yet. Okay, well now I can carry on because I've, uh, I got full heal. Ooh, and a super tonic. This will take me back over. This will take. This will loop me back around. Then, thankfully, it is very nice of them. Oh, hey, look, another save point. Man, the Yakuza series must be really good if Nico B is playing it a fuck ton. Yeah, I need my potions. I need my potion stock back up again. I need to leave. Yeah, I think I think at this point I am just gonna finish all these areas in one sitting. And then uh, maybe we can send that final painting for the finale. I I think I assume it's the finale. I mean, that's what I think. <laughs> How much percentage is in this game, anyway? Um, is it 900? Uh, Portrait of Ruin Rate. <laughs> uh, not, well, like, uh, percentage rate? I don't know. Um... Nine portraits plus the castle. 
I think, um... I think, uh... Palpatine's painting is, like, its own one. So that's probably, uh, what the dealio is there. That's why I said I'll save it for next time. Oh, they don't have anything to say now. I had a kind of thing we're gonna save the city for last, because that's the one we started out with. Alright, let's teleport back. Man, I just hate when I ch keep choking on juice. Yeah, I missed quite a bit of this desert, so... Let's actually get the clear rate up. Wait, I'm stupid. I didn't even buy potions, bro. What am I doing? Like, I just left? I just went out. I said, like, huh, percentage, and then I just left. Like, what the fuck? Also, um... I know Cerno and Marissa fell over. <laughs> oh, okay. They, they, they just don't want to stand up, apparently. Come on, YouTube. Sit up. Yeah, I'm so stupid. I was about to go frickin', um... I was about to frickin' get my, my potions back. My restore, you know? I mean, it's either I- I mean, otherwise, I could just do this. I could just finish up the desert and then save the, the city and the, uh... Big painting for its own episode. Because otherwise, it's gonna be a really short, uh, it's gonna be, a, we're gonna end up with one of those short finales that I don't like. I also don't know what he's talking about with, like, Dodo. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to, um, I need to sell stuff. Like, the spoiled milk. Um... At this point, I don't think I need the Nebula anymore. Well, no, we don't need- you know what? We don't need the Jet Black Whip anymore because we beat Richter. So, I'm selling that. Because we- well, yeah, I, I sell all this shit. Because we have, um... We have the Vampire Killer now, which is just better in every way. And I might keep the Berserker Mail on him, honestly. Sell the stone masks. Oh yeah, we don't need the silk hat anymore. We sold- we could sell that. Yeah, I had a feeling the tiara would sell for a lot. Sell the moon brooch. Okay, now I have money. Now, now I have money again. Boom, just sock up on everything. And you know what? How about some uncursed potions, too? And powdered milk. Then we have extra healing items. And you know what? Buy the blank book, too. I don't know what the fuck the blank book does. Golden axe? <laughs> I see what you did there. Combat fatigues. None of this shit's good by this point. Diamond corset. Well, whatever it is, it's not better than what I'm wearing right now. I mean, all this, all this, all this stuff is cool, but yeah, diamond tiara, arachne hennen. That might actually be decent because it increases my intelligence by three. Hmm. Diamond shoes. Prima shoes. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff here, though. Thank you. Let's save. Yeah, you know what? I think I will um, just do the desert, then. You know, since I've been going for almost three hours anyway, I think I can safely just 
you know, do that. I could just beat the desert, and then we can call it a day. And then we can, I mean, because since I can't, since I can't judge how long the uh, end game is going to be, we're either going to have a really long finale or a decently length finale, which is, I'm, I'm more, I, I'm more cool with that, honestly. I'd rather have that than a short finale, and I, and have to find some excuse to extend it, you know? Alright, let's teleport back. Now we can actually make prior risks. We have healing items and shit. And I'm not gonna be like edging myself trying to freaking make progress. Why can't I fill up this part of the map? There we go. Sometimes it's really specific. You gotta do very specific things to fill out the map. Oh, well. We just got cursed, so... Oh, wow. Well, this looks like fun. Curry! Yay! I love curry. I don't remember how much the powdered milk heals. But, I'm glad to have it anyway. And Jonathan is just sweeping these de this de these demons, bro. We got a super potion! Oh, wait, this is a dead end? Bro. That's a bro moment indeed. Whoops. Well, um, I nuked- I did a screen nuke, guys. So I actually have a reason to use Jonathan now, because he has a frickin' upward strike, which I can just use to, you know... I can do this. Which is pretty food me. Oh, but yeah, I take a lot of damage as him. How much does the powdered milk heal, anyway? 60. Okay, no, it heals 57. It's a very specific number. <laughs> oh. Okay, well now we can actually um now we're gonna now we can actually afford the backtrack. Taking too much damage, bro. Yeah, kick your head around. Yeah, I love that he can just kill the enemies for me at this point. Alright, I want to see what's down here. I'm gonna ignore the jellies. I don't even think those red skeletons do any damage by this point. Yeah, drink your powdered milk. <laughs> oh, there's a teleporter down here, and a save. Okay, well, at least we found one. A little too late, though. Oh, 
don't know how much experience those guys are actually giving, but hey, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Yeah, I can just jump over the enemies and Jonathan can kill them for free. Which I'd say is a great deal. There's two pharaohs now. Oh, hey, look, I got a platinum corset for free. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the diamond corset. That's shit, so I'm getting rid of that. Okay, now we have 100% this area. Well, yeah. It's just, it's just the boss we gotta do now. So I will make my way back to the boss. I think it- I don't really know which way is faster to get to the boss. I guess this way is faster. Damn. Love that he just keeps sweeping those guys. Yeah, there's no warp right before the boss. I think overall this is the faster way. Jackal Bone, it's me, He Man. Hmm. I haven't gotten a response from Desmond yet. Although it does say he's online, so you never know. Hmm. We'll see. Alright, we're gonna game, and we're gonna go... Uh, burp in the boss's face and kill him in one hit. That'll do it. Um, just to be safe, I'm gonna save again, because I don't remember if I did. <laughs> you never know. Anyways, I, I was looking it up, but, um, how long to beat.com? So this game takes nine and a half hours. So I think it's safe to say we'll beat the game next episode. Alright, who's the boss? It's just a mummy. Mummy man. Drink some tonics. <laughs> Drink your powdered milk. That was the fucking easiest ass boss ever. What the shit? That boss was so lame. We got a teleporter. And holy, holy ma- holy male, dude. Is that better than what I have right now? Reduces damage from holy attacks. Oh, interesting. Well, either way, it's better than the gold plate. So, I guess I'll keep it. Well, shit. That was a bit- that was a bit lame, really. Mummy man couldn't do shit to me. I mean, it's not as pathetic as the, um... It's not as pathetic as the Castlevania Symphony of the Night bosses in the Inverted Castle, because those bosses are an actual joke. They go down in, like, three hits, and they barely do any damage. But, still... Well, I, I guess I'll end it here, because, um... If I keep going, I'm going to end up having a short finale, and I don't want that. So, yeah, I guess um, that'll be it for today.
Hey, look at that. We just hit three hours. Nice. At least on the recording. The stream has been going for three hours and nine minutes, it looks like. So, yeah. But anyways, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, Portrait of Ruin for today. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. And, um... I guess I'll see you guys in what I think is going to be the finale, because, you know, since I've played this game for nine hours already, there can't be that much of this game left. At least I don't think so. I mean, maybe I can go for both the endings, just for, you know, variety's sake and all that. So, it looks like I'm going to beat this game in one week, which is a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, I'll try and play this game in the morning, so I can get it done with and, you know... Then I still have Friday to play other games. Because I'm probably not going to be that free Friday afternoon, so I'm going to be doing gaming night with my buddies. So, yeah. Anyways, see you guys then.